Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So I'm just going to say it right away. If you're going to invest in crypto, the best crypto that you can buy into will probably be Cardano. You will not be able to find a cryptocurrency that has more potential than this. Cardano has some insane features that only few other cryptos in the world has and Cardano is by far the biggest and uh, most adopted one of all of these currencies that has these very important technologies which we will take a look at today. So today I'll be giving you three reasons that you should buy Cardano and that it's better than any other currency cryptocurrency out there. So let's just jump right into it and take a look at Cardano right here. So it's around two dollars right now in price and uh, you can see there's some big action going on here especially after Elon Musk announced that he will not be accepting Bitcoin as a payment uh, when you buy a Tesla. So that of course got the price of Bitcoin to go down a lot and the reason behind uh, Elon making this move uh, were that Bitcoin was simply not sustainable enough. So naturally people started searching for more sustainable cryptos and look what they found. The best crypto out there. Cardano. Let's just uh, read a little bit here about Cardano because first of all a very important thing which uh, you need to remember when you invest in crypto is that actually crypto is not just an investment. It's not just like gold something that you buy and then hold on to and sell again uh, in order to try and, and save your money or make a profit. Crypto is actually meant to be a currency right. So it's very important that you can use this currency to buy real world things. Buying flights and paying with Cardano at alternative airlines is quick and easy. Our search bar at the top of the page, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you select cryptocurrency and check out and select Cardano on the, on the list. And you'll be able to use Cardano for traveling, for uh, buying flights. Very, very good, right? I saw the, uh, Cardano has also been adopted in some wine shops and it is beginning to get more integrated into uh, a, 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 like a normal currency. That is not even the best part. This is not the best part either, but it's absolutely crazy. Cardano tries to be more scalable, sustainable, interoperability. Cardano processes 257 transactions per second, which are many more than Bitcoin that processes five transactions per second and Ethereum that can only process 15 uh, transactions per second. The great thing here is when this crypto will be used in real life, when it would be used to buy flights, to buy red wine, then you can see that it is very handy to have a lot more transactions. Bitcoin's transaction limit per second is seven transactions. That is very, very bad. Imagine this being used all over the world. Everybody in the world had this currency. How many times a second would a person swipe their credit card and, and pay with Cardano? All the time, right? That is why Bitcoin will never be used for that. Maybe it could be used for big transactions, right? That is what people are, uh, are thinking about using it for, but it's never going to, to uh, be fast enough for for uh, for being used to, to buy small, uh, small real world things. Ethereum's limit for transactions per second is actually 100,000 transactions. So right now it's doing 15 transactions a second, but it, it can actually get that number up by quite a lot to a 100,000, but still 100,000 is absolutely nothing compared to the numbers we need to get up to. Here is Cardano's transaction per second limit. 1 million transactions per second. Probably not enough still if everyone were to use it, but this is simply the limit. Right now it's only doing 250 a second, right? So getting it up to 1 million will take it so much beyond Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin and all those currencies, right? So this just proves that it will actually be able to be used as a regular currency. And if you have read Elon Musk's tweet, then uh, you're probably um, wondering about sus the sustainability because that was what he said in that tweet. Uh, we can't, we don't want to use Bitcoin because of the transactions. Um, they are, they emit a lot of carbon because of the huge quantities of power used that is not sustainable, that is not renewable. Um, so you're probably wondering about the sustainability of this coin. And I can tell you, it's absolutely fantastic. The sustainability in this coin is great because it, it uses another thing 
than proof of work. Proof of work is what they use in basically every coin out there. Uh, uses in Ethereum, in Dogecoin, in Bitcoin also, and that requires a lot of computing power. That is why you hear about these mining farms that are absolutely humongous, that uses so much power because it's just power supplies and graphic cards stacked up on a line, right? And the reason that these coins need to be mined, it's just kind of like a puzzle that needs to be solved. This long string of numbers needs to be solved. Uh, and that is what makes it safe. The people who has the most computing power has the most power. With proof of work, it's a little bit different because it doesn't matter how much computing power you have. It actually, the only thing that matters is how many coins you have. And the thing with proof of stake is you actually just need a computer and then you need to have bought some Cardano. And then there's just a random picker who picks uh, a person to, to mine the next block. And it's not completely random. You get more chances of getting picked the more Cardano you have. So if you have only one coin, then there's much less chance for you to get picked than another dude who has 20 coins, right? And when you have gotten picked, then you validate the transaction that they want to get through with. And that is basically it. That is the security and you might be asking, wait, what? How can you how can you trust people to not just validate fake transactions? Well, that is because people will actually lose money from doing that because they get a miner's fee when they have uh, validated um, a transaction. Then they get a fee and they won't get that if they do it wrong and they can actually get money taken out of their wallet if they if they do something wrong. So people are, don't want to lose their money. So of course they validate the transaction. So it's a very very secure system, just as secure as um, as proof of work, which is the big mining uh, thingies. But now we don't need these big computing farms, which means it's much more sustainable. There's other cryptos that are proof of work that has that are much more sustainable, but it doesn't get much better than uh, than this. So here's the three reasons that. Cardano is the best coin out there. First of all, the transaction speed is 10 times better than uh, than Ethereum will ever get. Uh, and Bitcoin is out of the picture uh, when it comes to transaction speed. Then we have the proof of stake instead of proof of work, which is, of course, the future. Much more sustainable, much more decentralized the people who are making the transactions are much more split up they are not much more decentralized when it comes to bitcoin mining basically everyone is a part of a mining pool which is basically a big group of people who are going together and they uh, say that now we are going to mine one block together and we will split the reward if the three biggest mining pools were to team up then they would own more than 50 percent of all the people mining bitcoin and they would have power to validate fake transactions. The thing with Cardano and proof of stake is you actually have to own more than 50% of the whole market cap and Cardano's market cap is uh, $72 billion. So that means it's very, very hard to cheat this system. There is one more thing that I would like to have Cardano implement or have another crypto implement. Um, if you could take Cardano and put it together with one other coin, then you would have the perfect coin that would be basically better than any other currency out there. This is the best crypto that I can recommend out there right now. Um, but it's not the best that can ever be made. And I'll show you in my next video what currency Cardano should be put together with some of the technology from that one to make the best crypto the world has ever seen. So if you want to see that, please subscribe to the channel and also like the video if you enjoyed it. Please write something down in the description. Write how much money you have made on Cardano if you own something or uh, yeah, what you're going to do in the future. And with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, sustainability, decentralization, transaction speed, boom, 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 proof of stake. Right? The best, the best currency, the best crypto out there. Go buy some. Just kidding. I'm not a financial advisor. Please don't listen to me um, as, as financial advice. Don't uh, make any big financial decisions based on this video. Remember that it's always risky to trade in the stock market. But this is even riskier. You can see 
these prices, they are going up and down like crazy, okay? So uh, be careful out there and uh, and only uh, invest some uh, invest the money that you can afford to lose, right? With that said, you guys, have a great rest of your day. Peace.